that has that has set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heaven. Let thy glory be above all what? All the earth. Number three. And I do not you will be intentional to praise God. You'll be what? Intentional to praise God. Now, in Adulam, you will separate three things. Thanksgiving is not the same as praise. And praise is not the same as worship. In Adulam, number one, I told you that you must list the things and thank God for the things He's already done what? in your life. But number two, you must deliberately praise Him. Let's go crazy and praise Him for hours. Just praising God. Yeah, but what did God do for me this 2023? 2023, I've been hard. Look around, nothing worked for me. What, what am I supposed to pray? Some people started the year with you, they are dead. Amen. Some people have been operated upon. Huh? You act anything you want, you still were not sick. Other people went on a diet plan, they got sick. Other people got on a bus, they didn't come back again. In fact, some of your mates from school decided to travel abroad. But since they traveled abroad, they've not been able to come back. They stopped. But his mercy have found you. So there's every reason to what? To praise him. There's every reason to praise him. Eh? God hasn't done anything from me. But God has been there for you in that there's not a single day you've gone to bed without it. Even if it's only bread. Praise him for that. Because the Bible says, God, that's what? He inhabits the praises of his people. If you want God to show up in Aduna, you have got to do what? Praise. The only way to what? Is to praise. In Aduna, it's not about you praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noon time. Praise him in the evening. Go crazy with what? With praise. In Aduna, Adunam has no time for complainers. God is not moved by our complaining. You look at the life of the children of Israel in the wilderness. They complain and complain and complain. They died in the wilderness. May that not be our story in the name of Jesus. Yes. Psalm 57, verse 6. They have prepared a net for my step. My soul is bowed down. They have dig a pit before me into the midst whereof they are falling themselves. Verse 7. My heart is fixed. In Adunam, your heart must be what? Fixed. Your heart must be fixed. I don't know. I just pray and pass. God has not answered me. I've tried. Your heart is not fixed. Uh, this issue of money. I just try and be truthful. But if nothing changes, this company items, I'll take some and go and sell. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, they're not paying me now. Your heart is not what? Fixed. Uh, life is so difficult. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm pretty, but nobody's coming. <laughs> and if anybody's coming, is there useless people that are coming? <laughs> well, there's this man. It's showing interest in it. I know. I know he's not born again, but he's a good man. I will manage him. The heart is not what? Fixed. Come out from among them and be you up. Says the Lord. And I'll be a father of Jesus and be you up. Your heart is not fixed. And I do that, your heart must be fixed before you answer your prayer. At the moment, you begin to seek God in Adula, and Satan too will hear. And Satan will bring you shortcuts. Oh, yeah, you provide the shortcuts. 
You want your ministry to grow? There's this society if you join. All you need to do is eat with us. Once you eat with us, money will be flowing. Congregation will be flowing. Everything will flow. Yeah, you can still keep on preaching the Bible, but you need to eat with us. The Bible says Jesus went into the wilderness for his Adulam. So when he went into his Adulam, after 40 days and 40 nights, he was what? He was hungry. Wait, now, not he. The Savior waited when he was about to finish the prayer and fasting. Right there, Satan showed up and said, you don't need to go through all of this. All you need to do is bow down to me and I'll give you the kingdom from this world. The kingdom from this world belong to Jesus himself. Satan is a creator. He is a creator. Jesus is a creator. The creature will tell the creature that he will give him everything. But he doesn't own anything. And so, the moment you make up your mind to seek the face of God, that is when, as a young lady, one man will show up. A nice SUV, tiny one. Not the ones that stand like this, no. <laughs> nice one. And the guy has got the etiquette, the language, the attitude, everything, open the door for you to sit down, everything, everything. Because before your breakthrough in Aduna, there's always a fake thing that Satan shows up. So your heart must be, verse 7, my heart is what? Fixed, oh God. My heart is what? Fixed. I will sing and give what? Praise. I wake up my glory. I wake sultry and heart. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Now I want you to know, in Adula, when you begin to ask for his mercy, and you begin to give him thanksgiving, and you begin to praise him, and you begin to worship him, things don't change automatically. Hello? So, so this idea of that, oh, oh this test, I like this test passage giving. Once I go through this test, everything will just fall. And I do love God will test you and see. Number three. In Adulam, you make a report to him. Write it down, number three. In Adulam, you make a report to him everything that is happening in your life. Report to God everything and everyone that has made you sad. Now, remember, you are not complaining, you are reporting like a police officer. So, you are giving him an incident review. You are a newspaper reporter. Um, Father God, in January, this is what happened to me. And this is what this person did to me. You are reporting. You are not complaining. Two different things. Report your situation to who? To God. Report the situation that's making you sad. Every one of us have an adrenaline that we don't like to be remembered of. That is what I'm talking about. You take it to the Lord Lord and pray. You report the situation. And after you've reported the situation, remember, don't forget praise and what? And worship. Now, worship is different from praise. Praise, your praise is about who he is. So just praising him for who he is. Worship to surrender yourself. And the Bible says they cast their crowns what? Before the Lord. 24 elders cast their crowns. You come as you are and you just worship him for who what? Who he is. You need to do that. On your own. Okay? This is not a um, collective thing. It's personal. Number five. After you presented your request before God, you 
do exactly what David did in Psalm 142. Let's go to Psalm 142. Psalm 142. Now, perspective. Notice Psalm 57. David is writing about his situation in the cave of Aduma. And Psalm 142, he's still writing about his situation in the cave of Aduma. So Adula was not a 24-hour situation. Hello? Just want to point that to you. A prayer when he was in the cave. Psalm 142. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. Past tense. I did what? I cried. Unto the Lord with my voice. With my voice unto the Lord did I make my word supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. That's the report. I showed before him what? My trouble. Verse 3. When my spirit was what? Overwhelmed within me. Then thou knewest my path. There's a place where your spirit is overwhelmed. That no scripture anybody is giving you makes sense what? Makes sense to There's a place in God where your spirit is so overwhelmed that anybody that's trying to encourage you just look at the person and so hold on, God is faithful. God is going to be there for you. Amen. Amen. I hear you. Adulam have done so much to you that scriptures don't mean anything or to you. In that situation, you need to go to Adulam. And I'm going to show you what you do in Adulam. Before then, let me read scripture. Verse 4. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. In Adulam, no man will know you. In Adulam, you look on your left, you look on your right, and you know that it's your friend that everybody is singing and praising about. You actually know more than one. You know, but, but, but in Adulam, nobody will remember you. And I do not, everybody sees Jonathan as the next king of Israel. They don't see you, David. And I do not, it feels like your prophecies are all suspended. But it's the same Adulam that will train you to become a mighty man and woman of God. Amen. It's the same, same Adulam. So don't run away from Adulam. Verse 4, and I look on my right and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. I told you that nobody will care for your soul. When his brethren were at the battlefield, the Bible says, Jesse sent um, David. To go and give food to what? To his brother. Anybody remember the story? But when he was in Aduna, who brought him nice food? In Aduna, everything you've done for people, you have forgotten. Because the idea of Adulam is God allows Adulam so that you cannot focus on anyone, you focus on him. Amen. That's fine. I cry unto thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry. Which means he has cried. But it looks like God was not paying attention to what? The cry. So this time he made a demand. Lord, I've been crying. Lord. Pay attention to what? To my cry. For I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Ah. And I 
are good and you must get right this now. What number are we? Number six. In a tournament, you must recognize that you have no strength. As long as you still think that you have strength, you have power in prayer, you have strength, you can stand. You are a mighty man of fire. You are not ready. In a tournament, you must recognize that your strength is not enough. But in your weakness, it's a strength made one perfect. For in a tunam, you must recognize that your strength is nothing. Verse 7. Bring my soul out of prison. In a tunam, you must recognize you're in prison. In a tunam, you don't do positive confession. I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the king. I am not in prison. I claim my right. In a tunam, there's nothing to claim right. David knew about right. He knew about his anointing. He knew about his prophetic calling. He knew who he was. But at that moment in time, Adulam is between him and God. It's not about what he puts out there for people to see. Amen? Adulam is between you and God. Nobody is there. Just you and who? Just you and God. You say, bring me, bring my soul out of prison. So I do not, it's not a place say, I, I am not in prison. I'm not in bondage. But you are not. It's a form of what? Bondage. But you are sick. It's a form of what? Bondage. And I do not, you strip yourself open because you are talking to your father. Our father. And I do not, it's my father, my father. It's not our father. And I do not, you're not saying our father. And I do not miss my father, my father. Have mercy, Lord, upon me. The Bible says, by Jesus' hand on the cross, say, Eli, Eli, Sabatani, my God, my God. It became personal. It didn't say our God. And I do not, it is personal. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. He asked for a turnaround. A turnaround. That God will deal bountifully with him and change the kind of people around him. From the broke, broker brokers to the righteous compassing him. But you know what God did? The same broke, broker brokers that were around him. And David began to call upon the name of the Lord. God made the same broke, broke, broke as people to become mighty men. Amen. Motivational speakers will say, you need to change the dimensions of your friends. You need to move with some wealthy friends and learn some wealthy language. Because when you change your friends, then you change your attitude. And when you change your attitude, you change your perception. And when you change your perception, that's motivation speaking. And in reality, when God wants to set a man up, it is the same people around. A bunch of fishermen who never went to school. A bunch of fishermen who nobody in his right mind will call to ministry. And the same people that will help you to complete that person. Amen. Amen. Now, in Adura, there's something you need to do. Number six. Be number six? Seven. Engage. Men will be drawn to you to help you with the vision God has given to you in Adula. Men, you stay there in that Adula experience and you begin to see God. God will bring helpers. If you abandon Adula and you seek for help, you won't find any help. You will not find any help. You can, you can do whatever you want to do. Send messages to other people. I'm an anointed man of God. I'm an anointed woman of God. I flew with the prophetic deliverance ministry. And I would like to um, visit um, this place and come and be a blessing.
message to the people of God. Who is in their reply? They were not there, what? Just work like that. But in Abdullah, God will make them to know you. The Bible says, while they were there, trying to find their way, that there was a Macedonia or call. And the people in Macedonia demanded that Paul and Silas must come there to minister the word of God. And because it was of God, when you get there, the hearts of the people are prepared for the grace of God that is upon your life. Too many young people don't understand what I'm talking about. I wish you that until you go to do them, forget it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's just going to be there. And then you'll meet another group of people who don't want to go to Adulam. And so, here is you who don't want to go to Adulam, and you meet other people who are also complaining who don't want to go to Adulam. And you encourage yourself outside Adulam. Five years time, you realize that you've not achieved God. In Adulam, you don't seek for men, you seek for God. That the way to the stage is the cave. The way to the stage is what? The cave. You must have a cave. 2024. Every one of us, I want to encourage every one of us, don't just be going, 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 going. No. Take breaks. And I'm not talking about, let me explain what breaks is. For many years ago, I thought I understood, um, the people understood what I was talking about, really. I need a break. No, you know, you, you don't take a break and sit at home and be watching TV. That's not a break. That's not what I'm talking about. Take a break from everything. Is Lay everything what? Aside and go okay. seek God. Yeah. The Bible says, and Jesus withdrew himself from the people and went into a solitary place and did what? And he prayed. It was just between him and his father. He didn't take Peter. He didn't take James. He didn't take John. The best of his disciples didn't take. In Adula, you don't take anybody. You, you don't even take all the married people listen to you. You don't take your wife. Hello? You don't take what? Yeah. No, you don't take your wife. It's just between you and God. You don't take your husband. It's just between Adulam. It's just between you and God. And you need to create that time in the, because the things that are coming on this planet, only those who know how to negotiate Adulam will survive. You must know God for yourself. If your Christian life is built on just running around for Sometimes man of God is not in tune. And so when you force him to prophesy, you prophesy from the flesh to you. That I hear that God is going to bless you. The great things are going to happen to you. And then go, Hallelujah, receive it. But the man of God has no power to bring what he has won for now. Mystery of the last days. You must know God what for yourself. Do you know that in the days when David was in Adullam, there was a prophet in town. His name was God. But check the Bible. His name was God. But David did not go for a shortcut to God. That's a prophet God. Oh my God. No. He went into the cave. Every time David wanted the next step, he goes into the cave. And in Psalm 15, he said, Lord, who shall ascend into the holy hill? Then God spoke to him in, in a dual situation. He said, take the half clean hands and what? And a pure heart. Psalm 15, he did that. Psalm 24, he asked the same question. God answered him. These were what? One on one what? David knew God. That's why God said, David is a man after all. Because, he, I mean, yeah, he had, David had it all around him. There was money. There were warriors. There were prophets. If, if prophet God is not around, they had prophet Nathan. 
Yeah, so the, the shortest you can even go to Abiathar the priest and he say, bring the ephod. What says the Lord? No, 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 no. He had other opportunity, but he also knew it is good for me to know God Lord, for myself. Way to the stage is the cave. What number are we? Hey, okay. The cave is a place where you are not accessible. Write it down. In the cave, you are not accessible. When you go into your cave, you must not be accessible. Our days, the times and the days in which we are, are times where we get distracted so easily. Adula. And Adula, when you are going to Adula, please leave your phone at home. I'm serious. Because that's when you are seeking God. That's when they will call you. Say, ah, Granny is not feeling well, Lord. Granny got a headache. We took him to the hospital. And they spoiled all your Adula because right from there on, you can't concentrate. You begin to think what's happening, what's this, what. And I do not, don't take phone. Amen? No phone. And I do not book a place, an accommodation somewhere in Barbados that is not your house. Unless you're a single person who lives alone. If you don't live alone, you live with family. No, no, that place cannot be a do not. Because when you declare prayer and fasting, that's when you cook the better food. <laughs> All of a sudden, garlic and onion smells good. So good. So and your stomach begins to rumble. <laughs> Find a cave. Now, I'm beginning to realize that we don't know this island. There are places hidden on in this island. You have to deliberately search for them to, uh, to find them. And they don't cost an arm and heart. Uh, and a leg. But forget the ones you know. Hilton will tell them that they, they want the one. They don't take your arm and leg. They take your belly, your liver, your <laughs> everything. They kill you. They will kill you. There are hidden places in the island. Find some of these hidden places. Go, go there. All you need to do is, Pastor, I'm going to Adula. I said, God bless you. Where's your phone? Give it to your husband. Go. Go to Adula. No phone call. We don't want to hear anything from you. Stay there. From Friday night to Sunday night. Don't come to church. Stay in Adula. Are you with me? Because the things that are coming on earth is the only way I can help you. It's coming. And most Christians are not prepared for the things that are coming. Say that, you know, before COVID, we used to do that. The leaders, we used to do that. We will just share everything now, and I will send you this week. You are going to do them. You you stay there. You pray, you fast until God shows up. Where's the Kinesada? The Kinesada went on one trip like that and saw herself come out of her body. Out of body what? And spirit. That will never happen with your children around. Mommy, 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 mommy. It will never happen. Because just when you are about to enter. Everything will be spoiled. You will have a true love experience. The secret place of the Most High. Now, if you book a hotel and you go and say, oh, that's my Adula. You don't watch TV. Hello. Hey. So that's not that's okay. Let me check this program. Yeah, that's not Adula. Your holiday. Amen. No, in Adula, everything must be shut down. You must, it must be you and God. So if you cannot control your tablet, some of you cannot just control anything. Let me be blunt. No. No, they say I'm too blunt, I'm too direct. I don't know how to sugarcoat it. Truth is, some of you cannot control your tablet. 
See, when I travel to go and preach, the TV is there. If I spend one week in that hotel, I will not switch the TV on. It's just discipline. Not because if I see the TV on a committed heart, say no. But I need to be focused and sharp to hear God. And that, I don't want too much more distraction. Are you with me? But for some of you, you just cannot help yourself. I know a man of God that wrote a book on holiness. And he said, when he goes to the hotel, I learned from him. He said, the first thing he does is unplug the TV. He finds the socket and unplug the TV. So that, just in case his hand touches the remote. Are you with me? So if his hand touches the remote, the TV is unplugged. The TV will not want respond. You need to create your own discipline. You need to create your own discipline. Switch the tablets to what? To airline mode and it's just you. This evening from work. I forgot. I should have spoken. God, you understand. I should have spoken to Esther at work. Hello, Esther. Oh, yeah, I was looking for you. No, 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 no. They fill your head with all kinds of joy. You cannot what? Concentrate. Shut down. You know why? Shut, completely shut down. Every three months. How many months are there in a year? At least every three months you must go on Abdullah. The years that are ahead of us, that's what's going to make you to survive. Some of you are saying, ah, Pastor, I've got temptation in this area. This temptation is strong. Three days in Abdullah, you will come back as a giant. You will go in as a cat, you come back as a lion of the tribe of Judah. Because spending time in his presence, the Bible says, when Moses came from his presence, his face was shining with what? Glory. You know, let me help you. You know, some of the revival meetings we hold in the evenings and everything, some of them, about 50% or more than 50% of them, I don't stay at home. I, I don't stay at home. You will see me coming, but I'm not coming from home. Only my wife and my son have to suffer mm-hmm. that. Yeah, they don't get silly. I, 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 I need to go. And then I will go. Sometimes, they send me a message. Are you alright? <laughs> they just want to hear me. Sometimes it's out of pity that I'll just go. <laughs> I'll just go. I'm okay. <laughs> because the truth is, I don't want to what? Test back. Because in Adunam, you get into certain encounters and certain presence that normally don't want happen. And it gets to a point, heavenly personalities comes to walk with you wherever you go. That's why you need to go there. So that you make my preaching easy. So, exactly. So that it's not like pastor said. Is I have been there and I know what this is. And I do not, the things you dream about are different. All these crocodiles and snakes and everything, they will give way to angels. Amen. Three months, every three months, every one of us must go. This is not leaders' thing. I thought the Bible said we are all royal priests to the horn. Yes, that's what I'm making available. It's not only for leaders. Go. I say, God, I used to hear you. But I've been too busy and I've been distracted. I'm so sorry. I miss my lover. I miss my king. I miss my love. By the time you begin to praise him, like God likes to be wooed, though. Mm. Oh. But he will show up. He will show up and you will have encounters what? with him. Then when you come, he say. I know a man. Where are you blessed? I don't know. All I know is, and, and it is those kind of encounters that are happening, say, that which our hands have won, 
have heard. That which our eyes have seen, it is of these that we testify of. Then you can say, what shall separate? This time it's not what shall separate us. Because in Adulam, it's not us. You will say, what shall separate me from the love of Christ? Because you spend time with him. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. How many of you will want to go to Adulam? Yeah. I will not organize Adulam for you. You no 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 no. So you think you you accuse me that I'm trying to take over your life? No. <laughs> you will organize a dunam for yourself and decide. I want my situation war change because the truth is when you do that, you it will shock you. Some things you will discover. It, it will shock you. You as you begin to pray, things that are hidden in the realms of the spirit will be revealed to you. Say, hey. So this is why this is happening to me and this is what you will find out. You will find out. So, you must not be accessible. Number what? Number nine. You go into the cave alone. Not with anyone. You don't go with prayer partner. And I do that you do not go there with what? Because your prayer partner is supposed to help you pray. They will be sorry. Jesus tried that method, it didn't work. In the Garden of Gethsemane. In fact, he, he went with three of them. Peter, James, and John. The best of the church. Hmm? John, he went with John the Revelator. James, the head of the church. Peter, the evangelist. He went with three of the best. And all they could do was... <laughs> They were changing Jesus. Jesus woke them up. They went into his run too. The third time Jesus left them alone. It was a mystic The Bible says, as he began to see the face of God, the Bible says, an angel came to strengthen him. And he prayed, and the sweat that came out of his body were like what? Crops of blood. Because life is deep, it is an issue of blood. The moment he went through that, he was able to face the cross. And do not empower you to face anything. To face anything. Why you call, it's my weakness, it's my weakness, it's my weakness. I not do not, it will, it will burn out. Number 10. I do not, it's not a one off thing. Hello. Hey, I think I'll put mine on 1st January. That's when I have all my resolutions. So I'll do my I'll do my on first January. Once I do for first January, I'm done for 2024. No, 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 no. From time to time, you need to go back to Aduna, shut everything down, and have another encounter. Because the grace of God for yesterday is not enough for the next day. Are you, are you with me? That's why when you fill your car, after some time, you go back to the gas station for what? How many of you know Jesus was anointed? Yeah. How many of you know? I mean, he stood up and said, the spirit of the Lord God is what? It's upon me. He has what? To do what? The Bible said, and Jesus went into a place and he prayed what? All night. Hello? He didn't take anybody. All night. One man all night. And two lambs. In Adulam, you are deliberate, you are intentional for change. You must stay where you want. You seek his faith. In Adulam, you must go to repentance. Now, repentance is not for people who are not born again. That's what church people say. You must repent. That is true. And sometimes you have to do repentance on behalf of your family. And on behalf of your nation. Because when you read Daniel chapter 9, when Daniel was praying, he said, he asked God for forgiveness for the sins of what? His people too. And I'm afraid 
There's repentance for believers. Scripture, Revelation chapter 2 and Revelation chapter 3. Jesus will tell them, repent, 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 repent. They are not going to remove your lampstand. Repent. Seven churches. He was telling them to what? Repent. So believers to accord to what? To repentance. It's called the sins, dealing with the sins of commission and the sins of omission. The sins of commission are the things you do, you're not supposed to do them. The sins of omission are the things you are supposed to do, that you are not doing them. The Bible says, to him that no one had to do a good thing, and to I did not, to him it is what? It is sin. So sin is not just drinking alcohol, smoking and everything, no, it goes beyond that. So in a good hand, you strip yourself naked before God. I do not, you can't, you can't cancer. As said I, Elohim. The woman is the woman Rafa. No, 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 go straight to the point. You strip yourself and say, Lord, deal with my heart. You confess your sins, you repent deliberately. And ask him to praise you deliberately. Praise him deliberately. Everything you do that do not is what? It's a deliberate act. Then you continue. Then after about three months, you need to go back. For checkup. So why do I have to go back? For checkup. Because we live in a dusty environment. In <laughs> case you don't know. For what? For checkup. Anybody spend time there? Anybody here who is a perfectionist? Let me see by us. A perfectionist. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, those of you who are perfectionists, you like everything clean, right? Yeah. Clean, nice yeah. and sweet, right? Yeah. Okay. After spending one hour in the shower, <laughs> where you bear and bear and bear and bear and bear, <laughs> when you use your towel, does your towel get dirty or not? Yes, it does. <laughs> you get my gist? Yeah. <laughs> and after you bathe and bathe, and you put on your shirt, does your shirt color get dirty or not? Yeah. So we live in a dusty place, so after some time, we need to go back to Adulam for checkup. See Dr. Jesus, and he'll check you out and say, hey, High priest Joshua. I see some koku here. Mm. There's okro here too. I see some stains here. But Satan is standing on the right. He says, he is. <laughs> Say, yeah. But you cry for what? Mercy. For mercy. So I just ask the angel to come and change your heart and change your garments. And once you change your government and you continue in righteousness, your authority and your power comes back up to you. That is what Adulam deals with what? Does, does for you. Adulam is a wonderful place that you come back strengthened and empowered. And then all the promises and the prophecies upon your life, all of a sudden they begin to fall into place. Somebody walks up to you and says, um, I don't know, I don't understand. But I just felt that God was made in my heart to bless you with five hundred and seventy-seven. Adulam is what working. Ah, praise the Lord. Say, oh, thank you so much. God bless you. May the Lord supply your needs. But as you are going, say, it's Adulam. It's Adulam. It's not even. It's Adulam is working. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because, all, because under normal circumstances, that person will not give you five hundred. Hmm? But the Holy Ghost will move people to help you. That will not normally what help you. So I don't know. All of a sudden, you want to do a program, you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to set up a business forum, and this one said, Don't worry, I will help you with some snacks. So what did you say? He said, No, no, I was just thinking aloud. <laughs> You don't go and be telling the person, I went to Nadula and I fasted three days and I was expecting the person to say, oh, so it's me you are manipulating. Yeah. <laughs> you keep your mouth what? Yeah. Shut. And Nadula is a reality. It's a reality. You shut things down and you go. Let me tell you, next year 2024, second time 
mind from the year will shut everything down and begin to pray. Are you, are you with me? Yeah. It's the only way of survival because of the things I've seen coming. It's the only way of survival. That people people think this. In fact, I didn't even know they've given us a nickname. They told somebody, Do you go to that church that prays at 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning? I said, Oh, so that's the nickname we have in town now. The church that wakes up and pray what? 4 a.m. and what? 5 a.m. We have not started praying yet. We have not started what? Praying yet. We are now going to what? To pray. But pray in a way and the manner we will know him and situations will turn around in Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen, are we not tired? We have we have we have prayed, we have sought seeds, we have given covenant offerings to try and get our own building, and then it's time to go to Aduna. Amen. Anybody agree with me? It's time to go to what? Aduna. That will force some people to you know, you know. the Lord told me. <laughs> Only Adunam can do what? Those things. Adunam can move somebody and say, I have learned this in Thomas. The Lord told me to give me the land. The land. The land. For Adunam, you know the apostles, they spend time in the Adunam room. Before Adunam, um, Pentecost was not prepared to sell the lamb. Mm-hmm. Hello? And after Adunam, he sold his lamb mm-hmm. and brought one, the prosperity mm-hmm. for the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. Thank you. This morning, your prayer will be very simple. Lord, grant me the grace and the discipline to implement Adunam Horn in my life. Like I said, nobody is going to force you to do it. They got children, they're not hearing. Ah, your children, they try, try, the more they try at school, the more they fail. You go to Adulam and say, ah, Lord, remember I asked of you children. I know children that cannot read, children that cannot do anything, that will be giving me um, heartache. They begin to wrestle with God. God shows up and says, your name is not Mojiko. Your name is what? Israel. Because as a prince of God, I have wrestled with the Lord. That which I've been denied you will be given what? To you. That's what happens in Adula. In Adula, you make up your mind. The answer will not be no. I will stay there until things what? Change. Remember what we learned. Your heart must be what? Fixed. Your heart must be fixed. So when people come and say, ah, if you're crying at me, nobody, nobody can survive. I went to Adulam. I know what he told me. My own situation is what? It's different. You know? Yesterday, was the 27th of Shezvan, the day, the ark, and everything. Noah entered the ark in the mantle of Shezvan. The ark is Christ. Spend time and meditate on these scriptures. I say, Lord, I'm writing from 91. I want you to hide me under the shadow of what? Of your wings. How many of you know that when the bird puts the chickens or the little birds underneath it. They don't get wet. Thunder and lighting doesn't affect them. Nothing affects them. The weather doesn't affect them because they are hot. The same way, the wings of the Lord, when you are under his wings, as everybody's complaining, you will know you will not complain. Amen? Amen. Amen. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to lift up your voice and say, Lord, grace, grace and discipline to go to Adela. And I'll create times and season just for me and you. Just for me and you. And the cave of Adela. And the cave of Adela. The grace and discipline to do that. 
the time situation is around. Every three months you must find a place. If it's only 24 hours, 72 hours, stay there in the presence of the Lord until you hear him with clarity. 48 hours, stay there. No phones, nothing. That's you and God. Ask the Lord for grace and strength to put this into practice. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus. We ask of you, O Lord, that in this time and season that you equip us. Lord, we have heard your word. We ask for grace and strength and discipline to implement an adulam in our lives. Now we know that the silence is not meant to destroy us, but to draw us closer unto you so that we will be the people you want us to be. Have your way, O Lord. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now you see, this is why we don't rely on technology and electricity. And All those who woke up this morning and look at the sky for us. I will stay on YouTube. You can just come. You can take your seat. You can just want to share something with us. Good morning, everyone. I just want to encourage you all and to tell you what Francis says is true. I went up place twice. Seven days without food. Seven days without food. The first four days, water only, and the last three days, nothing. The first time I did it, I did not hear God's voice until the seventh day. I read. I said, Lord, we don't speak. I don't know if I can go through this again. I said, you go to sleep. I drifted off. It was only about five minutes because it was going to break at six o'clock. I started the first at six in the evening to six the following evening. All I do, I didn't feel like praying anymore. I didn't feel like worshiping anymore. I was tired. All I wanted for him to do was to show up. And just before heading to six, he spoke. I heard him clearly. And he said to me, People don't come into the holies of holies. We learn his word to articulate it, to have discussion, to minister. But when you come into that, it's to draw from him. But isn't that, that's not the highlight that I want to share with you. My son, my first son, to my mom was addicted to games. I could not get this straight off of the computer. All I tried. After that fast, I walked to that computer. I said, you were created to be a blessing, not to a detriment to my son. And if you're operating contrary, I come by to crash in the name of Jesus. And it crashed. It crashed. So that's my testimony. After that, I went into story because I was in the US. I got favor. It was just like a shift. So I just want to encourage you. I did the second time, but I guess that testimony is for another time. That's when I had the out of, um, out of body experience. It was the highlight of that one was after I broke my fast and I was praying, I saw myself in the chair and I was lifted up and I was groaning, like praying, just groaning. I could not understand it. I was so afraid. I said, Lord, I don't wake up everybody. Because the way it sounded really, really loud. And just as it was going back to my body, he said, I will never leave you now to see it. So there are times when I am going through stuff. I draw in that. I remember that experience. I will never leave you now to see I have another testimony that's coming soon, but the time is not ready this yet. So I'll be encouraged. Yes. 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 He said, he said, the Lord told him, I will never leave you or forsake you. It's different from reading it in the Bible. It's one thing to read in the Bible, 
It's another thing when it comes and tells you. That's the encounters I want to see every one of us have. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. You come back with authority. You know, sometimes in my passion, I just want to carry everybody along. But I realize that, no, that doesn't work. So I let people decide where they want to be. Whether you want to stay in the outer court, in the inner court, or enter into the Holy of Holies. Because it will change your story. If these things are realities. So that somebody comes to you, especially you students or somebody, they say, um, there's no God, and there's no this and everything. Go to Adullah. When you experience him, I know, I know that my redeemer living. It's not, I will know that God is not. I know. I spoke to him this morning. And he spoke back to me. Nobody can shift your faith. You need it. I don't know you need. You need an encounter. You need an encounter. And as you do so, we are in for a time we've never experienced in the year that is coming. The midst of the troubles, God, you will encounter. Some of you, when you were growing up as a child, there were gifts that you had. All of them have gone into dormant war. When you go to Adula, it will be ignited. It will be ignited. You think it's dead, right? It's not dead. When you go to Carlton, you see black eyed peas. They are in bags, right? Do they grow? They don't grow. Bring them home. Put them in the right place. Put water on it. What happens? Now get this die inside you. It's not dead. It's in what in, in biology is called dormant war. Stay. It's in dormancy. And it can be activated when you find yourself in the right soil with the right water. It will be activated. Just don't get busy, busy, busy. That's what I'm saying. Look at the year. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching this in November. Look at the year. If you have 21 days, holiday and everything. I push it. Don't you say, I'm on holiday. Just take two days off. Let's lie down there. Watch football the whole day. That's not a break. So, take, take some time just to be with God alone. alone. Do you know if you do that, I promise you, some of you will see some of the people in the Bible. Amen. 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 You think it's not possible? Amen. Jesus was on earth. And Moses and Elijah what? Okay. showed up. Don't you know they are the 24 elders? They will come and say, we have come to teach you the day that I have come to come. I have come to, can you imagine Daniel showing up and saying, I have come to expound my book to you. It will not be the same as using concordance. His desire is hunger. They that hunger and test after righteousness shall be what? Yeah. Make a desire. And this is what I'm talking about. It's got nothing to do with uh, I, I don't, I'm not that spiritual enough. I don't speak in tongues. I don't do No, 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 no. There's nothing like that. It's just that you just want to know him. Amen? You just want to what? Know him. Just go for him. Seek him and you will do what? You will find him. Go find him. Say seven days. First seven, six days, God was silent. Go check the Bible. When God told Moses to come up in the mountain. The first week, God did not say anything. So Moses was sitting there with a whip. And the clouds. And God did not say a thing. He didn't say a thing. Whole week. Why? Because we are so far away from him. That's why he doesn't speak. But then, if you keep doing Adulam, Adulam, a time will come. It won't take you one week to hear him. You get there. The first day, he shows up. Because love is blooming. Are you? He wants to see whether you really love him. You want a date with me, God? Well, prove yourself. 
Thursday, second day, third day, fourth day. A man that is serious about a girl will not give up, would it? Uh -huh. It's a love affair. It's a love affair. And God, if you don't come in these two days, I'm done. Don't go on. Don't be like that. And as we focus on Holy Spirit, I can't explain everything to them. You make it known to them and make it real to them. And Abdullah is a real place. But turn their lives around in Jesus' name. In that place, anything. So me, I'm old and my time is past. There's nothing to call my time is past. So Lord, everything I was not able to fulfill in my younger age, I ask of you, can you add that to that of my daughter and of my son and of everything that I have written to be fulfilled in them just as that which was for, for Abraham was fulfilled in Jacob. And watch what will happen. These are realities. They are realities. Many of you think pastor is bold. Pastor can't be bold. This pastor could not speak in public until I was eighteen. Everything changed. I know the time it changed. September 1990, when I gave my life to Christ, when it changed. Before that time, I never stand in public. Never. I can't talk in public. I can't say anything. I'll just be shaking like leaves. Nothing. Can't speak in public. Everything changed. God can change what? Your situation in Adula. You become another word and another man. Become another man, another woman. Has the Lord been good to us today? Yeah. Amen. Amen. All those who missed it, send them a message and say, Ah, I miss Adula. I say, What is Adula? Make them hungry and say, See, it's not good to always be online. Online, do you know sometimes online, you are watching or listening to a message, you sleep halfway. And then you wake up to come and say, Amen. Hey. Is it only me? It helps. It helps. Online, online is not that effective. It helps, but it's not the real thing. There's something about fellowship. Amen. I want to see every one of us catch fire. Nobody. Amen. Can the worship team come up? Offering, yeah, we don't know. Give us a song and um, we'll take our offering.